God. Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of the Call of Duty YouTube back with another review for you guys and gals. This is episode 44. It would be season two, episode nine of Dark Shadows. I do want to say I made a I made a brief mistake that I actually went to upload the wrong recorded the wrong episode and uploaded the wrong one. But since I already recorded episode 45, I'll upload it after I do 44 here. I swore I did this one first. I'm, I'm getting old. Uh, Bill Malloy is in the blue uh, blue whale. He's drinking. Uh, he's been drinking there uh, pretty heavily and all long. Um, Carolyn walks in. She's sort of in shock. And I love how they're having this conversation. She's like, how long have you been here? And he's like, I, I was born here. She goes, no, 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 not Collinsport, the blue whale. I'm not. I don't, I can't recall seeing you here in the afternoon getting a drink. He said, let alone in the evening. So he admits that he, he's drinking and he's getting drunk. Um, one of my favorite scenes in this episode that I love most is at the end, but it's the setup to that scene. So Elizabeth is at the great house. She gets on the phone, she put, she calls, she puts it down, she checks her watch, and then walks her banker, who they have this conversation about, there was a, that, about how they're opening a savings, she's opening a savings account for David, and he, she says, am I in any trouble, you know, he says, no, he says, just you should know that those notes can be, you know, the notes can be called. And she goes, well, who would want to call him? He goes, she goes, and he says, funny thing you asked about that. He said, a banking, a New York syndicate uh, asked about the notes and was calling upon them. But I, I made it very clear, hey, this is a family run operation. You know, he was basically the Liz's banker, I do believe, is in charge of the bank. So he's not going to call the note. He's not going to, you know honor the call basically and that's what's keeping the sharks away so to speak but her banker does tell her you need to hire back Nick Coulter you need him and she goes I don't need him I have Bill Bill's a competent man Bill's a great fishing man Liz a great boat man but he is no Ned Coulter he's not the businessman Ned Coulter was no nor is your brother and she goes I don't disagree with that and you know, she's convincing more herself that she doesn't need Ned Coulter in this episode. And when the, Ned rants, he goes, oh, would you, she goes, would you please come back? Would you, and she, you really don't hear Liz beg much, uh, but she's begging there. And when he says no, she hands up, she walks over to her attorney. Okay, I need him. And she sort of has tears in her eyes when she says this. I think she realizes she's up against it. But I, what I really love too in this episode most of all that is not just that omission but the fact that you're you're literally getting you know a ba Liz's banker because we're going to meet Liz's attorneys eventually um and I love when Carolyn comes back and to the great house uh, because she leaves the blue well and she tells she talks about her banker. She she talks to her banker about her savings, and he goes, "Yeah, your savings are in good order." And he, she says, "You know, Bert definitely carries his has his banker travel with him, uh, Mister Blair, James Blair." And the name really strikes uh, Liz's attorney, or sorry, Liz's banker. I keep saying Liz's attorney. Sorry for the mess up, but. He goes, I had no idea James Blair was working for Burke Dabbling. And that's really, really interesting, too, because now Carolyn knows that James Blair is working for, for uh, Burke. Uh, when Bill Malloy comes to the great house, he's telling her, you got to do something. He goes, he lets her know that you think, you, you really think... Burke was guilty of that manslaughter case and she goes I believe the judge the jury convicted him it was a jury of his peers and she he goes what if there was evidence that wasn't an introduced in trial so Bill is letting Liz know 
he doesn't buy Bert killed him either, and she's like letting him know you shouldn't either. Uh, but she also really what he also what he ultimately lets her know is by the because what Bill Malloy hears this recording isn't going to be terribly long because I <laughs> I went out of order. Um, and I'm trying to get everything in here uh, for this. Give me one second, guys. So what you have is by the end of this is that, like I said, Bill Malloy, once he hears. So Bill gets upset and he tells, you know, he tells her that because once he hears Carolyn say that James Blair, Burke's attorney, is the one looking into buying up, calling the notes to the Collins cannery. That that makes Bill like confirm like he needs to step in here. He needs to take action. And he tells Elizabeth, "I'm going to expose the truth about your brother, even though it's your brother, whether you like it or not, whether you want me to or not." I'm, I have to go over your head. I'm sorry, Liz. And he walks off. I think it's one of the... It makes you respect the character of Bill Malloy so, so much more. Again, I'm sorry this this version of uh, the episode is going to be short. It's because I watched it so many times and I did the wrong episode out of order. But I did get everything. I mean, you meet Liz's attorney. Um, the camera work is really good in this. The, the different camera views we get of the characters faces again Lila Swift does a great job going back and forth um, again I want to thank you guys I I'm also going to upload for a bonus though I am going to upload episode 45 so so yeah